हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू दिस चैनल स्टैटिस्टिक्स फॉर ऑल ई लर्निंग एनी टाइम एनी वेयर प्लीज लाइक सब्सक्राइब एंड शेयर ऑल्सो प्रेस बेल आइकन थैंक यू नॉर्मल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन प्रॉपर्टीज नॉर्मल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन इज ए कंटिन्यूस प्रोबेबिलिटी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन इट इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट कंटिन्यूस प्रोबेबिलिटी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन फॉर ए रेंडम वेरिएबल एक्स In normal distribution, mean, median, and mode are equal. That is, mean is equal to median is equal to mode. Normal distribution graph is known as normal curve. The normal curve is bell shaped. Normal curve. Let us take one example. This horizontal line and this vertical line. here we can see that mean is equal to median is equal to mode this is bell shaped 0.5 this portion half portion is right side and 0.5 half portion left side it is symmetric about the mean the total area under the normal curve is equal to 1 the normal curve is asymptotic to x axis that is tail do not meet x axis from a normal distribution skewness and cortices are coefficient which measure how different a distribution is in normal distribution skewness is 0 In normal distribution, quartiles are equidistant from median. Here, four by five into sigma is a mean deviation about mean of a normal distribution. Two by three into sigma is a quartile deviation of a normal distribution. Instead of binomial distribution, normal distribution is used when n is very large. and p and q are not very small here are some of the important areas of the normal curve about 68.26% of the area under the norm curve falls within one standard deviation of the mean that is mu plus or minus sigma is equal to 0.6826 about 95.45 percentage of the area under the curve falls within two standard deviations of the mean that is mu plus or minus 2 sigma that is equal to 0.9545 about 99.73 percentage of the area under the curve falls within three standard deviations of the mean that is mu plus or minus 3 sigma is equal to 0.9973 About ninety-five percent of the area under the curve falls within one point nine six standard deviations of the mean. That is, mu plus or minus one point nine six sigma is equal to zero point nine five. About ninety-nine percent of the area under the curve falls within three standard deviations of the mean. That is, mu plus or minus two point five eight sigma is equal to zero point nine nine. any doubt please write in comment section thank you please like subscribe this channel statistics for all share this video